Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to do a new thing today uh, for my vlog. I'm going to show you how to um, jazz up some very cheap, simple lights. Um, I've got my sewing kit here to start with. I've got my um, kit with, with scissors, pencils, uh, tape measure, all of this sort of stuff, pins. Uh, and in my, in my kit I have buttons, all sorts of different ribbons and scissors and threads and sticky stuff and templates and the like. What's in here? Ooh, prettiness. What's in here? Today I'm doing purple. So I've, what I've done, I've got two cheap lights. These are from Argos. I think they were something like not even a tenner for two, something ridiculous it was. Um, so what I'm going to do, I am going to add some pretty beading and then I'm going to add some purple buttons on the front in the shape of love hearts because these are for my bedroom. So I thought love hearts were pretty suitable. So a couple of things we need to do first. Um, need some sharp scissors like so and we need um, tape measure. First job is to measure round the bottom of the lampshade or measure the circumference of the lamp. So I go from the line at the back here and I work it all the way round and then measure to where you start. That is exactly 20 inches. I'm doing it in inches because uh, um, that's what I'm doing it in. So now I need, uh, how much is that? 51. That should just leave enough for my um, something else when I do that. I'm sorry, I'm muttering a little, aren't I? What I'm thinking is I've got two metres of um, beading here. I want... Uh, 20 inches for each of the lamps and then when I do my blind, when my husband finally puts my blind up in my bedroom, I need a metre to do that with. So I'm just thinking, um, 20 inches is 51 centimetres, which is just a little bit short, but never mind, I'll have to go and some more, won't I? To start with, I'm just going to take it and if you can see here, right, see how it's fraying? If you cut ribbon on an angle, like so, um, what you do to start with, you need to cut off the fraying end. What happens with ribbon is when you cut it on the straight, it frays like that. If you then take a pair of scissors and cut it on an angle, like so, it will no longer fray. So always cut the ends of your ribbon at an angle. Okay, so now I'm going to measure 20 inches just over. Make sure it's all the right way up. You don't get yourself in a knot with it, do you? Well, there's my 20 inches. So that's all the way round. So you need to add a little bit because you're obviously going to need a little bit of overlap. And then cut it at an angle again. So there. Here's my bit of beading. Well, what I'll do, I'll get my glue out. I've been recommended Yoohoo glue. This is uh, fabric glue. This should be really tough. It should be more than sticky enough. So, it's called Yoohoo Textile Label. Textilic. Okay, so what I'm going to do is open this up and see what sort of end it's got on it. Oh, the end's already open, and then I'm going to start again at my crease of my lamp, and then just oh, put glue just all along the bottom ledge. Don't go too mad with it, but you need enough to make the damn thing stick. Alright, and keep going. All along the bottom edge.
It doesn't matter if it's wobbly, does it? As long as you don't go too high. Always make sure you put the lid back on, and not glues like. And then, this could be the tricky bit because I'm not quite sure how, how um, sticky it is, but you've got to be careful you get glue everywhere. So I'm starting there. Can you see where I'm starting around this side? trying to get the um, ribbon so it's level with the bottom of the lamp so there's not too much overhang. I keep going all the way around. Don't worry if it, it you who's clear anyway so if it does go over a little, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's exactly what I thought might happen. So we'll start that again right quick, and we're just going to have to hold it in place a little. I can start on the love heart that I'm going to do. These are how many buttons I've got, so I've got to make a love heart that... Um, there's glue all over these, unfortunately, where that thing fell off, but that'll be all right. By the time I finish, there's going to be glue everywhere, but that doesn't matter, does it? So I'm split. What I'm doing, I'm splitting them down a little, and then I'm going to divide them in half so I've got enough for each lamp. So that's a little bit boring, but there's three each of those. Four. Um, there's five on that pile. Four on that pile. Um, we'll go. Three on that pile. Four on that pile. They don't have to be identical, of course, but. Oh, I've got another couple there, one on there, one on there, one on there. And two, four, six, eight, nine. So we'll go five on that pile, four on that pile. So that can be the pile for this light, and this can be the pile for this light. So what I've got to do now is just draw a quick template on the back of this, just to make sure they fit. There's not many here, but... I'm just going to get them onto the piece of paper and decide the best way how they'll look best, if you see what I'm saying. Whether I should turn one or two of them over or what have you. I haven't got any dark ones down this side, have we? The dark ones are rather yummy actually, aren't they? You're taping me still. <laughs> yeah, the dark ones are really scrummy looking. Right. Doesn't look quite right. Oh, my fingers have stopped working, they're all gluey. I don't think that one's working there, so we'll swap that for that one. Put that one halfway down. The trouble is if you don't do it on a template. You could get yourself into all sorts of problems. Is that trying to move them too round, shall I? Don't want it all too symmetrical, do we? So I'm going to draw around that with my pencil and then I'm going to copy it out onto the um, lamp, just roughly, so I know what size to do it basically. I'm going to try and copy that onto there. So make sure you go exactly halfway from the back, all right, and then take your lamp and roughly do the same. Pan. 
That's probably a little bit small, but it is on there just. You've got to use your bit of a, you know, your fanciness a little bit on this. So now what I'm going to do with my glue is just do the same thing again, follow the lines. I'm just getting the other side the same that I find is always a problem. There we go, so that's the rough shape we're going to do. Now we just get the buttons to line up on it. Don't forget, if it looks odd, you can always change it a little bit, as long as you've got your rough line. If you don't think they're going to stick like that one, put a bit more glue on. That's what I suggest. Getting the point doing it and then letting it all fall apart. If you do each side as you go, That's all move about a bit, but oh, it's really wobbly. Don't forget, the glue takes a while to dry, so it's um, you will be able to just move it about a little bit by the time you're finished. think you yeah. oh, see I'm running out of let's open that down there a little bit. I'll make one of these ones from over here. Make sure I do that one a little bit smaller. Those stuck very nicely already. Just trying to just spread those out a little bit. So that's a bit more of an even. How's that? Does that look about right? Yeah. So, what we'll do, I'll just try without desperately ruining it, just to dab away a little bit of this glue. There's rather a lot of glue on that one in there. I'm not sure I can without making a little mess of it. We'll just leave it like that until it's dried and we'll try to have a scrape of it in a little while. But basically, if I plug this one in, turn the light off. Oh, look, there's another button there. That's handy, isn't it? I'll we'll turn the light off. lamp. That's so we'll need to go somewhere to dry for an hour or two. Try and get the love heart in the middle maybe if you're taking pictures. Cool, they're both done. They still need drying a little bit. Um, if I show you what they look like when they're on. 
Let's turn the kitchen light off. As you can see, they they really cast a lovely shadow on the ground or on the tabletop. Uh, one will be on one side of the bed, one will be on the other. They're a bit alive, these uh, lamps. Lovely matching lamps. Hope you like them. Have fun making them because you can do whatever design you like. These are just particular, I just thought for the bedroom, the love hearts would be rather um, appropriate. Because me and my husband really love each other very much. <laughs> no, we do, honestly. Um, but yeah, but you can buy all sorts of different designs, especially on the internet. I got these from the local haberdashery shop. Um, they sell all sorts of bits and pieces. A bit limited in colours and things, but I was lucky to get uh, something that matched. And the same colour will do for my living room, because my living room is also purple. Um, but you can get buttons off the internet and all sorts. So you could do anything you want. You could use beads. I mean, I particularly like buttons, but I have loads of beads and all sorts of things. I'll probably use beads for my living room ones um, and do perhaps a pattern all around the top and all around the bottom to match in with the line of the um, ribbon. Uh, or I may do downward lines. It depends how many beads I've got. As you can see, this one is... I ran out of buttons here. I think I had m many more buttons on that one and on that one. So this one's a little bit smaller, but as they're going to be on opposite sides of the bed, no one's ever going to notice anyway, really. So anyway, that's the end of my post for today. I hope you like it. Um, I hope it inspires you to go and do something exciting yourself. As I say, Argos for the lamps, dead cheap. Something like a tenner for two. And they're the lovely touch ones, perfect for next to the bed. Um, this stuff was something like £4 a metre. Uh, the buttons peanuts, they're dead cheap buttons. I never buy fancy buttons unless I'm putting them on something really special. Um, okay, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and I'll come out with some uh, more ideas as the week goes on. By the way, I uh, just thought I'd mention this. My diet this week is going really well. I've lost about one and a half pounds. Um, I'm now down to a nine stone six, nearly nine stone five. Um... So I'm well chuffed. So I'll do a post about that another day. See you all. Bye.